Hi, Dr. Jeff, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about muscle adhesions. More importantly, how you could break up these muscle adhesions on your own to increase mobility or flexibility within a joint or, or a muscle. Um, this is a great thing to do after a workout when, you're, um, when you've had a really stressful workout or maybe if you're suffering some uh, injury or notice some tightness or stiffness in, in a joint. Uh, before I get into exactly about how you could actually break these up on your own, let me talk a little briefly about what a, a muscle adhesion is. A muscle adhesion is basically a, a small tear within the muscle and then its fibrous tissue kind of heals that area. So if, we, if, if we're saying this is like our quadricep right here, you're going to get a little tear. So you're going to get these tears um, if you're active, if you're lifting a lot, if you're running a lot, if you're cycling a lot, more than likely you get some type of adhesions. Now we all talk about foam rolling or, or using the stick. I know you're very familiar probably with the stick or the foam rolling. Um, foam rolling and stick work is not going to break these up and I know probably a lot of you are spending a lot of time after your training sessions or exercise sessions doing a lot of foam roller, okay? But I'm going to talk about how that. that's something that's a lot more effective in my opinion than, than foam rolling. So let's get back to the adhesions. Uh, if you're running a lot or you suffer some type of injury, you're going to get maybe like a little tear in the muscle. And like I said, this might not be big enough that shows up in an MRI, but you get a little tear in the muscle, but the muscle just doesn't fuse back like that. That would be great if it did, but it doesn't. It fuses like that, but then it kind of lays a crisscross pattern all over the place, okay? And what that crisscross pattern is do is it's going to affect mobility of that joint uh, or in that tendon area or between maybe muscles on top of each other that glide. Think of an adhesion as if we have a balloon, you put a piece of duct tape on that balloon. And now we open up that balloon and, and let air out of the balloon and move it. Where that duct tape is, it's not going to move very good, okay? So we need to break that up. And I do this every day on patients, you know, all day long. Um, you need to address the muscle. The way I do it in my office is a form of, of active release therapy. Like I said, if you go in there and you feel that knot, so you may find, let's say you go in, let's say you're using your, your stick and you're going down in the quad and you, oh, you get that hot spot and you feel that, that, that area, okay? That's a good chance you might have some adhesions in there or you're doing some foam rolling work and you find that hot spot, that trigger point, and you you know you lay on that joint, or not that joint, that hot spot to try to break that up. What's actually a lot more effective is when a patient comes in to see me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find those adhesions, I'm gonna take a contact with my thumb, and I'll have the person go through an active range of motion. Now, remember, I'm gonna show you a way how you can do this on, on your own. Um, but I wanna talk a little bit about how we do it in the office. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a, a contact on that, that quadricep or that adhesion and I'm going to have the person uh, flex and extend their leg. So what's happening is the muscle's lengthening, but my thumb is going over that adhesion and breaking that type of stuff. And we're trying to break up the scar tissue that's kind of crisscross and leave the scar tissue that's kind of going the right way. Uh, so you might have tendonitis or feel fibrous tissue within the back of the, um, the Achilles or the, the uh, the gastrox, or the, the, the calf, or the plantar fascia. We do this all over, and you need to really address that, that, that first if you're suffering from sort of any type of injury or you're competing in any type of type event. You need good mobility of that joint, or if you suffered an injury. Um, now, a lot of times what people are doing is maybe they got, let's say, Achilles pain, okay? And they go to the physician and they do an injection or muscle stim in that area. Well, you need to address everything over there. Think of everything as rusting up when you get these adhesions. And you need to manually break these up. Okay? Now, there is a way that you could do this um, on your own. Honestly, it's not going to be as, 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 as doing this on your own as effective as come, some, sorry, coming to see someone like me or going to another therapist that can get in there. No, no, it's not. The therapist could get in there very specifically and break it up. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about, a way of self-myofascial release, it's more of a shotgun approach, okay? So it's not as specific, but you could definitely loosen some uh, of these adhesions up on your own. So this is a great thing to do if you're feeling a, a tightness within a joint or in a muscle, or just use it into your recovery protocols after your heavy uh, training sessions. So what we're going to use is this, we'll call it voodoo flossing or voodoo band. And the idea, let's go back into, let's go to our calf right here. So we have a little tear in that, in that calf, and the body has laid down scar tissue. Uh, and we got it in the quad right here. So what you're going to do 
is you're going to take the, the, the voodoo band, or this voodoo false, and basically kind of wrap it right around the area of, you feel that scar tissue. Now that band is mimicking my thumb, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to take that band and you're going to do squats or active range of motion. Take that, that muscle through the active range of motion. Um, so like in the calf here, what you do is you find that knot right up in there, and you would wrap that band really tight. And I'll show you in a second about how to wrap this band. You're going to wrap that band right there. Now you're going to flex that foot up and see what's going to happen. You're flexing that foot up and that band is going to act like, like, my, um, like my thumb breaking that type of, type of stuff up. Like I said, it's not as specific as coming to see a therapist, but if you actually kind of put this into your general recovery, so after you do a heavy session, you, you wrap up the area that you worked or you're feeling a little bit of mobility, it can help kind of free a lot of adhesions up. So basically what you do is you're going to get these, uh, these voodoo bands or voodoo straps. And uh, I'll put a link um, where you can get these things um, in the comments area. So, so if you have kind of, let's say you're just suffering from a, a general tightness of the knee or you're feeling some tightness in your patellar tendon or quadricep, what we want to do is we're going to take that band and you're going to put about like 50, 70 percent tension. You want it tight. Now you're not going to keep this on um, a real long time because it is tight. It could off, could cut off, uh, you know, your blood supply. Okay, so you wrap that up. Now just stick it in there. Okay, so. Now that's real tight, it's right over my patellar tendon, okay? Because a lot of times in my office, what I do, a patient comes in, if I feel tightness in the, in the heat or adhesions within their, their patellar tendon, I'm going to take a contact on that patellar tendon, and then I'm going to have them go through an active range of motion. So I'm going to go through that. So this is, like I said, it's more of a shotgun approach, but you're going to wrap that up. It's kind of similar, broad contact, and then you'd have the person basically like do some deep squats. Um, you can take this above the... Um, the kneecap too, so if you're having a lot of, uh, you know, IT issues, now I, I actually if you're doing IT issues, you need to address this hip, okay, this is just a big band, okay, but you do want to free up this area too, but more importantly in an IT is get this upper hip area, okay, a little side note. Uh, so, again, in the, the, you wrap this around, um, about, like I said, 75% tension, um, you want it tight, wrap it towards the heart, so you start the bottom work up, and uh, let me just finish wrapping that. So we would have this wrapped up like 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 that, um, and then I would have you, um, I would do like some deep deep squats. And what that is doing is, like I said, we have that wrapped up all in this area here. So it's all wrapped up in here. It's wrapped up over here in that band. And now you're taking the squats. So you're kind of flexing that knee and you're allowing that muscle to go underneath that band, which will then hopefully kind of start freeing that type of stuff up. So uh, voodoo bands, a uh, uh, great way, you know, I mean, I think these things are cost like maybe 25 bucks or something like that. Definitely probably less, cost less than a, a copay to your sports therapist. Um, I have a lot of my patients uh, do this in between visits or after their, um, after their therapy sessions with me or after a, uh, a good workout. Now, like I said, is it as effective as manually going in there? No, no, it's not. But if you're, if you're suffering from a type of injury, go see a therapist a few times, break this stuff up on your own. I have the therapist break it up, then get uh, the voodoo bands, and then wrap it up and take you through the motion. Now, you could do this, you could do this again, like if you're suffering tendonitis in a uh, the, the, the forearm here, you just wrap that band right around here, you can wrap it up here, and then flex that, 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 um, that arm up. And that'd be very similar to me taking the contact where I'd feel the adhesion, and then having you go through a motion and me physically breaking you know. up. The therapist is a lot more specific, but this is a super way to keep mobility, okay, um, within a joint. So we'll try to do voodoo flossing. Uh, like after you have a workout, just you know, if your Achilles are inflamed, you're feeling that, that could actually break up adhesions and then also maybe hopefully prevent adhesions from, from, from forming in the area. So um, the more you use, everybody focuses so much on, 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 the, on the training or the um, exercise intervals, and not as many people focus on the recovery. And if you use these techniques or some of these hacks to enhance your recovery, 
what? You recover faster, which means what? You can get out and train harder next time, okay? So use these recoveries. Make recovery just as important as some of the, um, your training sessions, okay? So if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, drop me an email, uh, drop me a phone call, and I'll be happy to help you out any way I can.